Hey, what's up? Blake here. Today, I want to bring you a short review of XTAR's 100 watt solar panels, the SP100s. I've got two of them just recently ordered because I'm trying to see if there's anything that'll compete well with some of the other folding solar panels that are out there that are designed to be portable and used with some of your smaller portable uh, solar charging stations, as well as maybe even some USB type charging stations. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first off, this is sent to me as a two pack. Um, I purchased it direct from their website after seeing another YouTuber's um, information on it. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. All right, first off, let's go ahead and read a little bit of the back of this unit. So it says peak power is 100 watts, the cell efficiency 23%, working voltage is 17.6 volts. Uh, so you're gonna have to be concerned with what type of solar charging station that you have is gonna be able to work with these. Working current is 6.25 amps. Uh, open circuit voltage is 23.76 volts and short circuit current 7.5 amps. Operating temperatures go from negative 10 to 65 degrees Celsius. Its folding size is 62 centimeters, 53 centimeters by 3 centimeters, and then unfolded size is 123 centimeters by 53 centimeters and 1.5 centimeters. Uh, weight is 4.4 kilograms, so about 10 pounds, and it's a solar panel and it comes with a manual inside there. Um, let's see, it says that it's a longer lifespan and I believe that's because it's covered with ETFE film. Um, so it's high corrosive resistance and strength over wide temperature range. Uh, furthermore, it provides you with three adjustable angles with XTAR's proprietary uh, patented kickstand. Uh, so apparently you can um, maneuver that in multiple ways. So again, I got the two pack here. So let's go ahead and set this one to the side. And let's open this guy up, which seems to already be cut open for me. Oh, and I can see why is because I've got something else included, which I will save for after. All right, so we'll set that to the side. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. So nicely bubble wrapped. Put this to this side. All right, so there you go in the bubble wrapping. Take this out, keep it somewhat neat. You might be able to reuse that bubble wrap. All right, so there's the panel. It does come with a user manual in there. I'm gonna forego that at the moment. All right, so first thing that I notice, it's covered in fabric, all right? And the fabric has a matte finish to it. And we see that leg secured by Velcro. Um, I will cover that a little bit more here in a few moments. It has a plastic carry handle, so easy, secure uh, to hold on to that. It has grommets on the ends. Uh, so four grommets, all right. On this side, we have a pouch. So with the pouch, looks like it's a weather sealed pouch uh, where when it's closed, it's gonna have a little bit of a, a water tightness to it. Uh, this is the inside. It's gonna come with a 10 foot, eight millimeter port, barrel port for your solar charging stations and DC accessories. All right, there is no USB port with this one. And on the other side is yet again, another one of these uh, straps, or pardon, uh, Velcro legs. All right, the inside of the unit here, it's gonna be a magnetic closure. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up this style for the current moment. Uh, so we can see some branding here at the top, SP100. And I believe these are sun uh, sun power solar panels uh, as far as the solar cells themselves. Um, again, it has that specialized coating on there to provide longevity of life for the unit. And here it is wide open. All right, so I'd be able to prop these legs out, stand that up, and let's see if it stands up nice and neat. And it does. Uh, so there's not a bowing to it or anything like that. So first impressions so far are good. All right, I do have some sunlight outside, so I think I'm gonna take this outside for the rest of the review uh, for the solar panel, but I wanna show you one more thing. So I got this 
as a bundled package where it comes together with some parallel cables, a few of the adapters so you can connect it to various types of charging stations and other uh, batteries. But additionally, let's go ahead and put this up. So securing that, as you can see, couldn't be easier. Let's set that to the side. The second thing that I got here is this. It's a DC to DC USB charger. All right, so what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna take the eight millimeter barrel plug and what you're gonna do with this is you're going to be able to take that output coming from the solar panel and put that directly into this unit right here and it'll output output to a quick charge type A USB port, two standard type A 2.4 amp outputs and a 45 watt type C output. So again, I'm gonna be able to take this from the sun, run that through 10 foot of cable, plug this into the end over here and then plug a type C cable into this and be able to charge up to 45 watts. And where that's important for me is I have a unit like this. This is a Goal Zero Venture 75. It can take upwards of 60 watts of input. However, using the standard Goal Zero solar panels, I can only get up to 10 watts into this thing using the standard USB output that comes even on a 100 watt solar panel. So with this adapter right here, it would essentially enable me to be able to charge this at a 45 watt charging rate from a 100 watt solar panel. So very cool accessory. Um, I got this bundled together with it. Uh, so that way I can make the most use out of my portable solar panels. And I don't even have to use a solar uh, generator between these two items to get a rapid charging rate on something like the Venture 75 or even the smaller of this, the Venture 35, which I have one of those as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take this outside and get into some sun. All right, see you there. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up outside here so you can see what a little bit of the, uh, the solar capabilities of it are. Right now it's about 12.30 in the afternoon and skies are somewhat cloudy, uh, but a lot of clear spots at the same time. So let's go ahead and get this started. and put this right next to it here. Go ahead and get that plugged in. Turn the light on, which is barely visible, even to me. But plugging that in, and I am getting nothing at the current moment. Not a good sign. Let's see, yet again, nothing. Doesn't seem to want to go all the way in. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try the back port here. And uh, this is well not working. Let's go ahead and try something else. All right, so next, here I have an adapter that allows me to plug up to four type eight millimeter uh, barrel plugs into one. So it's a paralleling cord into an Anderson power pole adapter. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and convert that back to an eight millimeter port that will fit my goal zero unit. And let's go ahead and give that a try. All right, so first attempt to plug that in there. That seems to be a very, very loose fit, if any fit at all. And let's plug that in. And unfortunately, I'm not getting anything. Oh, again, it came out. Let's see, let's hold these together. And let's see if I can really force it in there. There we go. Force this thing in there. And we're starting to get some uh, some wattage. All right. So as of right now, I'm at 110. I'm at 100 watts of input from this 100 watt solar panel. And here is something funny. Um, I just returned to goal zero 100 watt solar panels so i had the capability to get 200 watts of solar charging and what i would typically average is 50 watts all right right now i have a 100 watt solar panel that is outputting 
No joke, it says 100 watts right now of input power. This is, this is pretty, pretty substantial. Let's go ahead and uh, take this to the next level. I'm going to grab my other unit and, well, let's bring this over so you can see it at the same time too. All right, so let's see, hopefully that'll focus in and make sure the light is on on this thing. But 100 watts of input from a single 100 watt solar panel. Um, and I'll tell you this, I didn't pay $400 per 100 watt rated solar panel that was putting out at 50 watts. I got one of these. Uh, so if you want to do a comparison of actual outputs that I was getting, I paid $800 to get 100 watts. On this, uh, through their website, I think it's selling for $269 and they have a $30 off. So you can get it for $240. Amazing. Okay, just wanted to make sure that this wasn't a joke. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out of here, which is currently charging at 95 watts. And let's go ahead and unplug that. I'm going to take off the adapter. And I'm going to just go straight into Anderson. So Anderson power pole plug this in all right and immediately jumps up to 100 watts 103 and currently sitting at 103 and because I have this connected to my goal zero app go ahead and let you see but 102 watts for that single panel okay but guess what I have I got a second one so let's go ahead and get that plugged in and see what that does all right here's my second panel and let's plug that into the second one here And upon plugging that in, 178, 203, 212. So again, I want you to be able to see this. So I'm gonna go into my application here. And in my application, in the charging spot, that's gonna be right here. Two 100 watt solar panels currently pulling in 209.8 watts from the sun. How cool is that? So here I am. I've got 40 foot worth of cable being run right now to the XTAR SP100 solar panels. I've got two of them hooked up in parallel and they have a 10 foot cable that runs off of them. And then I've got that going into a 30 foot Anderson power pole, 14 gauge um, extension cable. So 30 feet plus the 10 foot from the original cable. I'm currently getting 194 watts into my Goal Zero Yeti 1500X. So 40 foot of cable, I'm getting 194 watts out of two 100 watt solar panels. I could not be happier in terms of the output capabilities of these new solar panels. I think they are working phenomenally compared to Goal Zero's OEM solar panels that they have. Um, so two of those that I had purchased a while back were running me $400 a piece plus taxes. Uh, cost me a, a bit over $800, okay? I got two of these XTAR SP100s um, along with that DC to DC. Everything included, there was a coupon involved, but try to catch your coupons. And I got it for $529 plus tax 
uh, or I'm sorry, no tax. Uh, they just charged a fee on top of it, like 10 bucks, because I'm probably out here in Hawaii. Uh, but free shipping, so just a handling fee. Um, again, 190 watts. Right now it says 191 watts. I don't have the best of sun. It's one o'clock p.m. right now. It's in Hawaii. It's partly cloudy outside. And again, uh, phenomenal units. I definitely recommend them. The only thing that you're gonna notice if you are using Goal Zero products, you're not gonna be able to plug in to the regular eight millimeter port in the front uh, or the back of some of these units that are a hard unit. Uh, you're gonna require maybe an extension cable or some sort of an adapter because they're slightly over or too short of a barrel. All right, yeah, gee, come on in. So again, I hope you like the review. Um, consider getting these guys. I'm gonna see if I can come up with my own codes uh, to see if we can start helping out my channel and some of the video production that I do. Uh, so if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, look out for more. I will be doing additional testing with my Goal Zero Yetis as well as maybe some of the other solar generators that are out there in some time. All right, thanks guys. Peace out, mahalo.